Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything we can do to embody our soul's purpose during the current human experience. So for today, I'm doing readings on your Mercury placement. I did the North Node readings, Venus reads, and um, Full Moon and Pisces readings a couple of weeks ago, but I really decided that Mercury would be um, really important to do readings on because intuitively, I believe that Mercury is a personal planet. It governs all of our communication, how we govern our day-to-day -day activities, and even how we regulate our internal dialogue. So it's a very important planet to know where you stand as far as the, the current energies. So we have Virgo in Mercury, it's home planet, and the sun is currently in Virgo. So for those of you who, um, by the way, this reading will be for the sign of Pisces. Sorry, I didn't say that in the beginning. So if your sun is in Pisces or if your Mercury is in Pisces, this reading is for you. But because of the current placement of Mercury in Virgo and the sun also being in Virgo, you may feel like a lot of your communication is um, like slower or you're just being, uh, you're paying a lot more attention to detail. Um, you're wanting to know like plans ahead of time, like structure, because that's all Virgo energy. It's an earth sign. Um, but it is the most intuitive of the earth signs. I think Virgo is more um, tapped into the fifth dimension, just naturally um, out of Taurus and Capricorn. But anyway, so again, if your placement is in Pisces, so these are for my Pisces people, by the way, this is me. <laughs> my Mercury is in Pisces in the 11th house. So uh, let's see what comes out. I'm doing a seven card spread with the first card being your current position. So we have eight of inspiration. This is eight of wands. This is the muse of, I'm sorry, the muse tarot deck by Chris Ann. I'm doing second card out is your strength card, which is the page of inspiration, a lot of fire energy, page of wands. Third card is what's supporting you, the lovers, card of Gemini. In your challenge position, basically, oops, one just flew out. I'll take it. Your challenge or what you want is the justice card. Advice from Spirit, Page of Materials, that's Page of Pentacles. Advice from your own spirit guides, your angels, ancestors, this is Knight of Inspiration, Knight of Wands. And what you know to be true within your heart, Six of Cups, Six of Emotions. So I just did the reading for Aquarius, which is also for me, I'm an Aquarius sun. So I think it's a similar situation going on with Aquarius. I think this is a situation going on where communication has come to a halt or you're trying to reignite some kind of communication with one other person. Now, this could be a divine counterpart. Um, it could be a friend. It could be, you know, something more platonic, but I'm just getting the energies here are telling me that it is more intimate. Um, twin flame, soulmate kind of a thing. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of materials. This is seven of pentacles. So definitely thinking of where you want to invest your energy thinking of how you want this relationship to grow, to materialize, to prosper. Um, also, materials, aka pentacles for me, is about self-worth, how you value yourself. So this may be you thinking of maybe how you didn't value yourself previously in this relationship or how you allowed this person to kind of take from you or maybe you didn't speak up, you weren't honest. Um, this is a Mercury reading, so maybe you didn't communicate or present an actual um, or uh, an accurate uh, representation of yourself. Current position is eight of inspiration. This is eight of wands. This is communication coming in. Um, or are you definitely wanting communication? You thinking about communicating with this person? This and the energies could be reversed, so this person could be thinking of you, communicating with you in some way, shape, or form, calling you, texting you, DMing you, whatever. Um, because, but again, I think this is because of something that transpired in the recent past like either a falling out or maybe you all just kind of casually decided like to go your separate ways or to not like communicate or be around each other but now you want to talk about it it's like now you're ready to put the cards on the table strength card page of inspiration this is page of wands so pages are somebody that's young or something that is in its initiation phase so again, I think that you're trying to reignite this union, this relationship, 
um, this connection because you want to do things a little bit differently and you want to kind of start from, from scratch. Like you want it to be like a new beginning. Um, and that's what this page of wands is about. Um, you're thinking about like wands is fire energy, right? So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So you're also thinking of taking action, like, you know, not just speaking about what happened between the two of you or where you want to go moving forward. I think this is also about taking action and thinking about how you all can better share your energy and your time, like what things you can do together, how you can honor each other's boundaries, things like that. Look, you're, um, what's supporting you? Supporting you from the universe is the lover's card. It's a card of Gemini, but it's also about... Um, it's a, it's a card of a, of a union, but it's also about making a choice. The traditional meaning of the lover's card is about making a choice. Um, you can see like in this card, one person's like really looking up. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. It's kind of blurry, but um, one person's looking up, one person's looking down, like more reflective and pensive. One person's looking up, they're kind of like optimistic and thinking of all the possibilities. So, you know, you're gonna have to decide which on which side you fall you know are you more optimistic or are you just kind of being reflective like were you with the one that kind of maybe you were like sharp tongued with this person or they were sharp tongued with you but look you want justice you want justice in this situation you want the, the scales to be balanced you want there to be fairness to be truth honesty clarity um because i do think that you really care about this person you want to communicate with them you want a new beginning you want whatever happened in the past to be in the past. You don't want it to trickle over into whatever um, could be possible for you moving forward. Advice from Spirit is page of pentacles, page of materials in this deck. So again, another page, another beginning. Thinking of how you can prosper with this person. Um, do you want to work with them? Do you want to support their endeavors? Would you like them to support you? Um, could you maybe be a little bit more fair in who takes care of what, like if you're going out, like splitting bills and things like that. Um, this may not resonate with everyone, but this is just what I'm getting intuitively um, because it's a page. Again, that represents more useful energy. So, you know, maybe like just being more mindful of like how much they're giving you and how much you're giving them because this may be a situation where, you know, because it's just as part came out, it may be a situation where one person felt like they were giving more than the other, okay? And advice from your spirit guides, Knight of Inspiration, Knight of Wands. This is you moving in. So Knight, the Knight of Wands in particular, it's, it's a fast moving night. Like he's coming in fast, fast speed, excuse me, at a fast speed. Um, and he knows what he wants, right? He or she knows what he wants. This isn't gender specific, but you know, I think this Knight of Inspiration, like your spirit guides want you to know that it's safe and it's okay to take action. Like you can be the one that reach out, reaches out or if this person reaches out, you know, it's okay to respond right away, schedule a meeting, um, because look, in your heart, six of emotions, you're being, you're, you're thinking about this person, you're nostalgic. Um, this person could be a twin flame soulmate, um, or it could be somebody that is from a past life. It's a past life um, soulmate. Um, but in this human experience, it's kind of like you're just meeting them for the first time. Um, but it feels like you've known them forever. I just got that. that. That just came into my mind. It feels like you've known them forever. And this is why there's so much passion here. This is why you want there to be a new beginning. No matter how bad this, uh, this disagreement or falling out was. Let's get a few clarifiers. Let's clarify the night of inspiration. Oops. Too many. One wanted to fall out. but didn't. Oh, here we go. Yeah, page of swords. So you're checking up on this person, they're checking up on you, but you're ready to receive the truth that they have and you want to give them your truth. You want the clarity and it's, it's going to be there. Yeah, six of wheels is uh, six of pentacles. So this is uh, equal give and take, equal give and take. Let's get uh, a couple more. Nine of cups, this came out in the Aquarius reading. So you could have Aquarius in your chart or be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, so you are definitely emotionally fulfilled within yourself, but you want the 10 of cups, just like I told Aquarius. Um, it's like, you're okay with having your ice cream just by itself, but you want your toppings too. And that's 10 of pentacles, eight of wheels. 
you're working hard on it. Like you're working hard to manifest this person. You're working hard to uh, make yourself more open to receive, uh, be in a relationship. You could be like fixing up your house, like making it more um, like couple friendly, right? Like if you want this person to come spend time with you at your house, um, thinking about things that they would like like if you would like if you cook like what kind of meals they would like it's like you're just kind of at work doing things to prepare yourself energetically to receive this person the bottom of the deck is a knight of swords so someone's coming in to speak their truth but there may have been um a stalemate this is what i said in the aquarius reading there may have, there may be like a pause we are in Virgo season. Sun's in Virgo, Mercury's in Virgo. Slow pace, Virgo's an earth sign. So, and it's reflective. Major Arcana is the hermit. The hermit goes inward. He thinks about, he, she thinks about how they're gonna get their star. And the lantern that that hermit is carrying in the standard tarot deck, that light, it represents the star card. Um, the star is Aquarius. Um, it's hope, it's wish fulfillment, it's healing after trauma. So again, like just in the recent past where you guys may be coming from, either as a couple or just separately, it's like there was something that pulled you apart, but it's temporary. And now it's like, you're gonna fuse back together. It's like, you guys are magnets. Um, and I see that there's so much like passion and fire energy here. You have the lover's card, you have two major arcanas here. So um, I just really feel like there's, it's a matter of time um, now these could be time markers as well. Perhaps you met this person back during Gemini season, or they could be a Gemini, have Gemini strongly in their chart. You also could be hearing from them in the near future. So during Libra season, justice is the card of Libra. So that's, uh, less than two weeks away. I think Libra season starts the end of this month, like the 22nd, 23rd of uh, September. So, you know, soon is what I see here as far as communication coming in. And I see you standing in your truth, being very open and honest and passionate. Um, Venus is in the sign of Leo right now. So a lot of people are, um, you know, really operating in their emotions, their, um, in their emotions. They're operating in their relationships from a heart-centered place, um, being very vulnerable, very um, open and honest about how they feel. You know, Venusian energy is... It is loving, it's intimate, um, it's feminine, but it's also about prospering, right? Going from one point to the next and um, reaping the rewards of that. And this is what you want with this person. You wanna be prospered with this person. You have uh, materials in this reading as well as wands. So fast paced movement towards being prosperous. This is a beautiful reading, Pisces. I'm glad that this came out. I'm happy, I'm Pisces and Mercury. Change of the wind. Oh, Aquarius has got this too. Aquarius just got this card um, as well um, in their, at the end of their reading. So if you're a Pisces sun, you might be like right on the cusp of Aquarius, or you could just have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, like I said, or the person you're dealing with could be an Aquarius. Um, change in the wind. So this is a three. It's a 12, which reduces down to a three. There's change coming in. With this person, with you, um, too many, with how... You all communicate with one another. The expectations you have. Treasure Island, nine. So this is like nine of cups energy. So, you know, I think, it's like I see two things going on here. I see you manifesting a lot of like emotional stability and financial stability for yourself. But then also I see this union coming back together and it's like gonna illuminate whatever it is you're doing for yourself. Because you do have the eight of wheels here, which is eight of pentacles. That's someone being hard at work for something. You know, I didn't mention that it was you, know, like you preparing yourself for this union, but I, I actually, with this change of the wind and this treasure island, I see that this is actually you and this nine of cups. It's like you also like really hyping yourself up, right? Like gassing yourself up, um, making sure that your money's in order, um, like new job opportunities, like thriving in your work and your career but also ready to really pursue this person or if this person pursues you, ready to receive them. It's like you want it all. It's like you have the Nine of Cups, you're working on um, securing and making sure that Nine of Cups energy is like a, like a really stable thing for you, but then you want to also um, ignite this union with this person. Kind of start fresh if it got off to a bad start. Oh, look milk and honey 
This is beautiful. This reduces down to a six. So equal give and take. Two people being equally yoked, you know, being um, in union with one another, understanding each other's needs, fulfilling those needs, and just, it's just bliss. You know, this is like, this is like 10 of cups energy. Treasure Island is nine of cups energy. So this is a beautiful reading, Pisces. Oh, look, bottom of the deck, serendipity. Aquarius got this as well. It's another nine. It's 18, reduces to a nine. So I definitely see great things coming in for you, Pisces, Mercury and Pisces. I think once Virgo season ends, I think that's when this fast-paced energy is going to come in and you're going to hear from this person or maybe you are going to reach out to them. They're going to respond to you and it's just going to be like some dialogue that really gets things going, um, gets you all spending more time with one another. Still might be slow to start, but that's okay. You know, you don't, you, you don't want to cr crash and burn here. You know, the night of inspiration did come in here and that's that fast pace. But um, I think this person is definitely going to want to take things a little bit slower. I think the feelings are mutual between the two of you. But there's so much passion here and there's so much, um, there's like such a great desire to be like, physically stable like in your possessions in your home life in your in your money your finances that you know that that's going to balance out the fast-paced passion is what I'm trying to say like because you know like you have things you need to do on your own and you know your your business and your career is just as important as a relationship I don't think it's going to be like one of those like reckless type uh relationships where you just are caught up solely on your emotions and your flesh there is going to be a great deal of intellect here too you get the justice card right at the center of your um read Okay, Pisces, so this is what I have for you. If this resonates, please like and leave me a comment. If this is your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel. If you want a personal reading, check out the links below. I do personal readings as well as soul purpose readings using your birth chart. And that is all. I'd like to thank you so much for being here again. I hope to see you in a future read. I love you so much and be sure to thrive. Bye.